this is another video dealing with the infallibility of the Pope and what that actually means. <clears throat> this will be a just short uh, reference you might call food for thought. There are Protestants, Protestants today, and even some in the past, who uh, have argued that upon this rock I will build my church can only refer back to Peter. Uh, some of them even said we may have a lot of other arguments that we can uh, debate with the Catholic Church, but whether or not Jesus is referring to Peter or not as the rock uh, is not debatable anymore because it is Peter that Jesus is talking about. <clears throat> uh, this in the text, upon this rock I will be on my church, is what is called a demonstrative adjective. Like this, those, and these. And it has to have a point of reference. In other words, it has to refer back to something. And it refers back to the nearest uh, point of reference, which would be a demonstrative pronoun in Peter. So when he says, upon this rock, this, the demonstrative adjective, can only point back to the demonstrative pronoun, which is Peter. The closest reference to that is Peter. So there is no doubt when Jesus says, upon this rock, I will build my church, that he is referring to Peter, from whom he would build his, his church upon. Uh, now then, Peter is making a declaration of faith here. Uh, or a declaration. Uh, uh, a declaration about Jesus being the Son of God. And he says to him, uh, I can imagine them sitting around a campfire and Jesus has been with them, you know, for some three years now or so. He's heard what people have said. He's taught them. Calvary is, is looming big now. It's not far. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Calvary's not far away. And Jesus asked them a question. Who do people say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they begin to say, well, some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elijah or one of the other prophets. But then he gets to the heart of the matter. And as though with all sincerity, he asked them, but who do you say that I am? And it was Peter who spoke up and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now listen carefully to what Jesus said to him. You already know, but listen. He said, Blessed are thou, Simon bar Jonah, for thou art Peter. And upon this rock, this, the demonstrative adjective, pointing back to the demonstrative pronoun, Peter, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I want your thoughts on this. Was it Peter's faith that Jesus was pointing to? To me, that would be invisible. The church is visible faith. The church is a visible place with popes, bishops, and members, and whatever. It's not invisible. So was it his faith he, he spoke to, he was speaking about, or his infallible way to receive infallible truth from God? It didn't, to me, it didn't matter about Peter's faith, whether he had little faith, a lot of faith, whether he, whether he was illiterate, whether he wasn't illiterate, whether, whether he was educated, or whether he wasn't. Was Peter able to receive an infallible teaching from God? And he was. Because Jesus told him, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. God revealed to him who Christ was. Peter was able to receive the infallible teachings of God. Think about it. And let me know what you think. Until next time, this has been Golly saying, God bless.